The death penalty trial for Jonathan Quillis continues into the second day of witness testimony in Jacksonville. Quillis is accused of murdering his 16 year old niece in 2018 after getting her pregnant. On your side, Taylor Levesque joins us live from Duval County's courthouse. Taylor, do you have the latest? Yes, so far this morning, members of both law enforcement and members of Ayanna Sawyer's family have testified. So far this morning, it started with reviewing the last known surveillance images of Sawyer on the campus of Terry Parker High School before she disappeared and re was reported missing in December of 2018. The school safety officer says Sawyer was last seen on video walking t north on Townsend Boulevard. Sawyer's aunt says it was out of character for her not to go home after school, so when she didn't return, family members searched for her. She says they noticed Victoria's Secret's undergarments were missing from her bedroom, which concerned the family. She says she knew Sawyer was pregnant, but was never told who the father was. It was speculation that from the, I don't know when it began to start, but she was having inappropriate relationships with Mr. Quillas. And you knew that personally at that time. I know now, having been so long, but at that time, in December of 2018, did you know that? It was all thought up and brought up. We, did we have actual evidence? No. Okay. And Jonathan Quillis pleaded not guilty to first degree murder and sexual battery charges. Sawyer's body was never found, but investigators say Quillis killed her because she was pregnant with his child. Now, currently on the stand is JSO photographer and former crime scene detective who is going through 16 days of landfill photos from the Otis Road landfill. And we'll have more about that coming up at five o'clock and six o'clock tonight. Live in the Duval County Courthouse, Taylor Levesque, First Coast News on your side.